Hello everyone, Tim again from Tim'sComputerFix.net. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Windows 10 Enterprise ISO with the Media Creation Tool from Microsoft. Now, if you've noticed when you create a media tool from Microsoft, that it doesn't give you the Windows Enterprise option for an ISO download and install. There is a way to have Microsoft's media creation tool download a version of Microsoft Enterprise Windows 10 by using the PowerShell or Command Prompt. We're going to show you that now. Now, why do we need an Enterprise version of Windows? Well, usually large businesses, large companies, people that have businesses that have many computers uh, use Windows 10 Enterprise mainly. However, I just want to have it for testing purposes. So I want to get Windows 10 Enterprise downloaded here. I want to make sure it's correct using virtual using a virtual machine. So let's have a look at how we can get this done. So first of all, you want to go get your media creation tool. And you can just type in Windows 10 ISO in a Google search and you'll see where you'll have the Windows download Windows 10 disk image ISO link here if you click it this will take you to a Microsoft page and a lot of you are familiar with this page this is how you basically create an ISO for Windows but we're going to go ahead and download this tool now and as you can see I already have so just click download and that media creation tool will be downloaded and so what I have done in this instance is I have created a folder on the desktop named MCT for media creation tool you can put your media creation tool installation wherever you like this is the folder that I created for it and there you see my media creation tool 1909 in this folder now we want to open up I'm going to use PowerShell in this instance and so I'm going to open up PowerShell in this location so we're going to do that just by simply typing in here in the search area here PowerShell and now you can see that this has opened up PowerShell in that directory so from here, we want to enter in this command. I will have this command located at the bottom of this video in the comments section. I'm just going to highlight this and paste it or copy it. Then we'll paste it here. Okay. Let me widen this up a little bit so we can get a better look okay and this is going to tell the media creation tool to run it's going to automatically accept an EULA of the retail version 64-bit now you can change this to 32-bit if you like if you need to and then this is the the language uh, switch here uh, you can change this to whatever language uh, you want or you need there and then this is the switch that tells the media creation tool to download the enterprise version so from this we'll just press the enter and then you're going to get the user account control we'll say yes and now we got the media creation tool executable running and this is something a little different when you're doing the uh, enterprise version of Windows 10 um, you cannot go any further without a enterprise key now I'm going to use what's called a generic key this is the Windows 10 enterprise generic key nothing illegal about it this is the one that Microsoft provides so we're just going to copy and paste this I'll have this key down below in the comment section also and we will paste this here and then it says your product key works so we can continue hit next 
So we don't want to upgrade this PC. I want to use this on a virtual machine. So I'm going to say create an installation media. Next. And I want to download the ISO. This ISO is what we're going to use to run in our virtual machine. We'll hit next. We'll pick a place to put that. I'm just fine with the downloads with the documents folder. We'll go with that. And now we are downloading Windows Enterprise. So we'll just continue to let that download. So again, for me, downloading the Enterprise version of Windows 10 is just for exploration purposes with me, testing purposes. Really to obtain a full lifetime key of Windows 10 Enterprise, uh, it would most likely be purchased in a very large volume and would be very, very expensive. But if you are looking just to play around with Windows 10 Enterprise, this would be a good way to do it using the media creation tool. Almost done here downloading. Then, of course, it'll verify the download. We'll go through that process. Okay, and the download is complete. The verification process is complete. You can see the location of that ISO here. So let's go ahead and open up that location just to verify. And there is our Windows 10 Enterprise ISO there. Almost 4 gigs. So we're going to go ahead and load this up in our virtual machine. Get out of that. So we've cleared everything out here. Let's go ahead and open up our virtual box. And I already have a VM set up here. Oh, we, we got a virtual box set up here. We'll click up new. We'll name this Enterprise 2. Select Windows 10 64 bit. We'll hit next. Memory size. We want to take that up to six. We'll create a disk now. We'll keep it at VirtualBox disk image. We'll dynamically allocate it. And that's the location where it's going to be saved. Fix 50 gigs will be fine. We've created that. Okay. This was my test run here. We'll I rename this one, so we'll start that virtual box. There we have selected our Windows ISO. And we're going to see if this loads. Looks like it's going to load just fine. And now we go to the installation of Windows. License agreement. We'll do a custom install, 50 gigs. And we're off to the races. Let's see how this installs. And we're going to do a reboot of the virtual machine here.
All right, we can pick our region just like any other normal Windows setup would be. You can set yours up obviously any way you like. So we're going to set it with a local account here. We'll just put in a test name. Keep the password blank for now. And then the same old setup that Microsoft loves to try to track you with. Okay, and there we go. So let's check our version here. We're still loading, so it might be a little slow. System. And there it is, Windows 10 Enterprise Edition. So we know we have that. 1909 is the version. And let's look for activation. Now, as you can see, this version of Windows is not activated, so you would have to obtain a legit Windows 10 Enterprise key. But uh, this video was just to show you how to download the ISO. You will need the generic Windows Enterprise key for the media creation tool to go through with downloading this ISO. But it is not activated. You will have to activate that yourself with your own legit product key. Anyways, I just thought I'd share a, a different way of and an easy way to get your hands on Windows 10 Enterprise. Have a great YouTube day.